Hey, what's up everybody? It's Zach with Car Talk with Zach and I'm in the middle of a construction site. I felt like that would be the most logical place to bring a little attention to this Ford F-150 XLT Sport. So a lot of the cars I review tend to be kind of higher end cars or even like just the higher end trim of, of a vehicle. But um, since I've started selling work trucks, uh, you know, I've become more and more appreciative of just how good uh, these Ford F-150s really are and uh, I thought I would just bring out you know a really nice XLT because that's a, you know it's a good work truck it's uh, it's not too nice but it's nice enough and so uh, before I get into it too much I want to invite you to subscribe to Car Talk with Zach um, on YouTube if you're watching this video and, and you think you want to see more of it just go ahead and Ring that bell and make sure you're getting all my content. Also, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and www.cartalkwithzackzak.com. But enough of that. Look at this 2023 Ford F-150 XLT Sport. And before I really get too much into this thing, uh, just this color. Oh, and a land where just about everything is black, white, gray or silver and I mean really today when you're out and about or after you watch this video if you're out and about look around next time you're on a drive look at the cars that <laughs> that you encounter everything these days pretty much is being sold as black white gray or silver and I can understand that you know those are neutral colors but this hot pepper red metallic might be my favorite color period on the F-150 uh, this was a color that came from the Bronco and it was so popular on the Bronco that um, that Ford put this on the F-150 along with the Area 51. Area 51 is a really nice blue. Um, that also was very popular on the uh, Bronco. It's a 2020, 2023 color as well but um, yeah just this color is so nice. I've spent a few days in this um, in this truck and really a lot of people have commented on the color they want to know what what is that because you know Ford has a bright red um, it's called race red and it is red red but this has a little more of an orange hue uh, it's it is just fabulous I love it on this truck especially with the uh, sport package that this truck has so I'm going to come back around to the window sticker here and we'll kind of walk through a little bit about how this truck is specced um, it does have the 3.5 liter V6 uh, EcoBoost, which is just a phenomenal engine. It also has the equipment group 302A, which is a very popular equipment group. If it's not a work truck, a lot of guys will, guys and gals will, will take that 302A, which is just going to give you, um, uh, you know, just more enhancements inside, more or less, uh, remote start system, those type things. Uh, the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost I'll get into here in a little bit, but that's a $2,735 option and one that I highly recommend. This truck also has a 355 electronic locking uh, rear axle, $470 option. Power sliding rear windows, $350. Interior work surface, which I'll get into uh, once we get inside, is a really innovative tool for if you work and spend a lot of time in your truck. Um, it has the trailer tow package, is a $1,325 option. Uh, has lockable storage, which I'll get into in here, here in a few minutes. Um, these wheels are 20 inch dark uh, six spoke alloy wheels. I love them. And uh, yeah, this one also has the extended range 36 gallon fuel tank and the bed utility package and the XLT sport appearance package. So all in, you're looking at $64,310. Uh, I think my dealership's selling this truck right now for just over $61,000. So. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not not a cheap truck by any means, but um, you know, you can spend close to eighty thousand dollars now on a half ton pickup truck uh, or, or more and so the, to me this is kind of the sweet spot It's a good tough work truck, but it's one that you can live with every day So coming back around you can see these really nice 20 inch gray alloy six spoke wheels I think they look fabulous with this color um, you know, all in all, I just I can't get enough of how nice this truck looks on the outside. Uh, to get color matching uh, rear window, uh, or not rear, side windows, uh, window caps, you have to move up to the Lariat. Uh, that gets you a lot more kind of creature comforts, uh, but this truck uh, doesn't have that, and that's okay. I think, like I said, with the black trim and the, the dark alloys and um, the, the grayed out grille, 
I think it, it all looks really cool. So this truck does have a keyless entry, keyless go, so you just walk up to it and as you approach it, it's got a proximity sensor, so it will actually know that you're there and the, the daytime running lights, look, which look really cool on these new F-150s, will kind of glow and the truck will be ready for you. All you have to do is put your hand in the um, in the door handle. You can see it just unlocked. We'll open it up and you can see as we crawl in. I love this 75 years Ford F-Series, 1948 is when it started, so I really like that. In the 2023, you've got that nice kind of welcome screen. As we crawl in, it is a cold day. So I'm going to close the door and we'll start it up. So this engine is, like I mentioned, a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. It's twin turbocharged. Good for 400 horsepower, 500 pound-feet of torque. Uh, plenty, plenty for towing, plenty for um, just all day, every day use. Um, just a tremendous, tremendous uh, engine and, and we'll do a little driving perspective here in a few minutes. Uh, I thought I'd show you one of my favorite innovative um, features of this truck. I mentioned it just a minute ago, the uh, interior work service. So you can press a button here and lower the gear shift and then release this armrest and it folds flat and this is a really nice flat work surface where you can lay a laptop uh, you know or if you're writing on a, on a clipboard or you've got some something that you're that you're using your truck for during work or even if you pull off you know and you roll into McDonald's and uh, you need a place to eat. This work surface is so awesome. Uh, I use it sometimes when I'm out making sales calls. I'll lay my tablet here and make my, my notes. Um, it's just a really cool, innovative thing that Ford put into some of these trucks. It's, I think it's a $140 option, and I, 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 I generally, uh, uh, you know, really recommend my, my customers get it uh, when they're ordering their trucks, because it just, you don't have to use it. You don't ever have to use it, but if you want it, um, it's there. Press this button, the gear shift will come right back up. So I mentioned the trailer um, trailer package. So here's your trailer brake and then your pro trailer backup assist. So once you sync your trailer to the, uh, to the truck, you can actually steer uh, when you're backing the trailer up with this knob here. You let your hands off of the steering wheel, use the brake and gas to move the truck, move it forward and or back, slow it down. But uh, when you're using this backup trailer assist, left is left and right is right. Uh, so you, the truck kind of follows the trailer. It's a really innovative, nice way to guide, uh, to guide that um, trailer back. So you do have dual zone climate control, three automatic speeds uh, for the fan. I just turned it down because I was afraid it was a little loud. You've got power here, tons of storage. Um, everything is very useful. Uh, really nice deep pocket there. You've got another pocket here. You know, if you end up buying a Lariat uh, or higher, you have wireless charging here. But in the XLT, you know, Ford didn't put some of the stuff in uh, the XLT because they want to keep that price point down. So you do have um, different drive modes here. So I'll kind of cycle through them. Actually, I just locked the rear differential. Uh, but you can cycle through the um, different modes. You've got normal mode, tow and haul mode, and you'll see that as some of these cycle through, it's going to actually uh, engage the four-wheel drive system. You can see there it's shifting into four-wheel drive and uh, deep snow and sand. It just turned off the traction control, so uh, it can be, uh, you know, most advantageous in these different different conditions that you're gonna be driving through. So get back into normal. Whoops, there we go. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's the in and out. A um, lot of space, a lot of cubbies. A lot of cup holders, that's for you, Erin. She always jokes with me about how many cup holders a um, vehicle has. Um, so yeah, you can see a lot of foot space, a lot of head space, a lot of room for your passengers. Um, this isn't leather seating, but it's a really nice quality 
fabric seating. It's kind of a performance cloth, so it's gonna, um, you know, not not get hopefully too dirty and be easy to clean up. So, it's a it's a really nice value proposition. Even at sixty one thousand dollars, you get so much truck for that amount of money. So much power. I've really learned, you know, over the last uh, almost year now, uh, being the commercial account manager for Laird Miller Ford here in Lawrence and Topeka. Uh, man, how just usable these trucks really can be. And for my commercial customers that buy these trucks, um, you know, they're real assets to their business. They are revenue generating um, pieces of, of equipment for their businesses. And, um, you know, Ford really does own the work truck. Uh, they sell so many work trucks. Um, and Ford Pro, which is Ford's commercial dis, uh, division, really is committed to the work truck uh, and to the work uh, community and making sure that these trucks are designed um, uh, for, for, you know, for whatever the, the needs are that people have. So um, enough of that. Let's uh, mount the GoPro and we'll go for a little ride. Okay, driving the 2023 F-150 XLT Sport. Um, you know, I can't really say strongly enough how much nicer these trucks became after 2021. Ford redesigned the F-Series pickup truck, uh, the F-150, the half ton, um, for the 2021 model year. And, uh, you know, they just became so much nicer. They are quieter. Um, they're, you can just tell they're more, um, just more quality built. Um, you know, it's a, it's a vehicle that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people have lived with the Ford F-Series. Uh, it's not just a work truck. It can be, you know, an everyday driver for a lot of people. And, and in fact, um, the number one vehicle for millionaires in the United States, that, that millionaire, the number one vehicle that millionaires own in the United States happens to be a Ford F-150, if you can believe that. So a lot of people do uh, buy these trucks and drive them and, and live with them every day. And, you know, for 2021, they just got so much nicer. Uh, just and, and it's hard for me to, to describe. I, I, someday I could video just the difference between the 2020 and a 2021 similarly uh, spec trucks and they just got so much nicer. There's very little noise outside. I mean, um, there's very little noise from the outside into the cabin, which I think is the thing I appreciate the most. You feel like you're almost in a luxury vehicle. Not only just the, 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 the lack of outside noise that's coming in, but just the ride. I mean, I'm in a half ton pickup truck and it's very smooth, it's very quiet, it's very comfortable. Um, there's a, loads of tech. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really good value proposition anymore. At the same time, you know, you have a six and a half foot box behind you. It's been bedlined by Laird Noller Customs. Uh, so you can use this right as it was designed. You can throw bags of sand or rock or mulch or whatever you want in the back. It's made for that. Um, you've got this nice big infotainment center here. So, you know, you've got your navigation, um, your uh, audio phone, all the apps that come with the truck. Everything's just right here. It's all very easy and intuitive to use. Um, there are different apps. Whoops. There are different apps, sorry, just kind of blew through that yellow turning red light, uh, that you can use Apple CarPlay, obviously, Android Auto, and there are different systems here, uh, or settings, uh, that you can turn on. To, uh, blind spot uh, monitoring, of course, is standard, but cross traffic alert, uh, rear backup um, uh, uh, um, alert, and it'll stop you, actually, if, if, if you're backing up and there's a car coming and you're across uh, behind you in your blind spot, the truck's going to let you know, hey, there's someone coming, and if you don't stop, the truck will stop for you. Um, so there really is just a lot of safety lane centering uh, systems, and um, it's, just, it's just a great truck. It really is just a nice truck and one that you can live with every day. I did mention power, so 
300 horsepower, I'm sorry, 400 horsepower and the three and a half liter twin turbo EcoBoost, uh, 400 horsepower, 500 pound feet of torque. So tremendous amount of power. Um, you know, uh, these trucks will tow up to 14,000 pounds, depending on how you how you spec it. But 14,000 pounds uh, is going to cover most trailers that people want to pull with these trucks, like a boat trailer or a moving trailer or a car trailer or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's um, it really is just it's something that I've I've learned to live with every day. These these nice um, F series trucks, and and I can see where. Uh, you know, you would buy this and 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 really live with it. I, I used to joke with people, you know, before I got into the truck business, quite frankly, um, there'd be like four or maybe five days a year where I'm doing something around my house and thinking, man, I really wish, really wish I had a truck. That would be easier today. Uh, but, but the other 360 days out of the year, I'd be thinking, why did I, why would I own this truck? You know, this is too much truck. But now that I'm spending more time in them, I don't know that I'll ever not own a truck. I, I really, truly feel that way. And it's not that I use it any more than I used to, but I, I've learned that you can use them, you know, uh, as a daily driver. So I'm gonna jump on a hair. So again, that 400 horsepower. We've got really good power uh, to get out on the highway, passing power. Uh, that torque is really, there when you need it and even at 80 miles an hour listen how quiet it is a little bit of wind noise which you would expect but it's very quiet very very comfortable I cannot just I just can't get over the color to this hot pepper red metallic is just so spot perfect for me um, yesterday, I, uh, or sorry, uh, Friday, I sold a uh, 2023 F-150 with 3.5 liter. It's basically identical to this truck, uh, but it was the Area 51 color. Awesome color. Not dissimilar from that pilot there. Kind of a blue with a little bit of gray. Uh, kind of a soft blue. Um, also a great color. But like I mentioned earlier, in this truck, in the last few days that I've driven it, you know, neighbors are stopping by. Uh, people at Boy Scout drop off or at soccer, you know, people are just like, what color is that? Because it's very distinctive. It's not burgundy. It's not orange. It's not red. It's got a really nice, just a really perfect uh, hue for, for this truck, I think. Uh, I'm blown away, actually, by the power of the 3.5 liter. I was talking to a guy yesterday who was, he had an 8,000 or 8,000 pound trailer that he wanted to tow and he was uh, driving, um, currently he uses a 5 liter V8 F-150, I think he's mentioned it was like a 2012, maybe 2014, and um, you know, I was just telling him anymore, the, the, the EcoBoost is better for towing that trailer. You don't need the 5 liter V8 anymore. This truck has more horsepower and more torque than the 5 liter V8, so it, it is the future. Um, you can also get this in a Power Boost Hybrid, uh, which is 450 horsepower because you've got that hybrid motor working in tandem with the um, with the V6. Uh, but this engine is phenomenal. I have a commercial customer also who. Um, they will only buy crew cab four-wheel drive F-150s that are the V8s uh, for their for their sales guys, and I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the ownership of that company to understand that while that might have been important to a lot of commercial customers that they're calling on, uh, you know, five, six, eight, ten years ago anymore. I just don't sell a lot of 5 liter V8 F-150s. This, this engine is, is more than sufficient. So um, yeah, 2023 Ford F-150 XLT Sport is, is a good everyday truck for just about every everybody. So um, 
I think um, I'll hop out and show a couple more features on the on the bed and uh, we'll wrap this up. So I mentioned this truck has a bed utility package and I just thought I'd show you a little bit about what that's all about. Now I mentioned that the truck has had a um, bed liner sprayed in by Lernola Customs. Those guys do an awesome job for us. Um, and I, I think they're, actually our company feels like they're higher quality than what you get from Ford. So we typically do not order the Ford spray and bed liner. We spray it just once it gets to the dealership. So you've got this smart tailgate here. Um, you know, you can set your phone up. I didn't bring my phone, I left it in the truck, but you can prop your phone up here, spot for your tape measure. If you're cutting, uh, if you're laying a two by four here, uh, you can clamp it down right here. There's these spots where you can clamp the truck down and not damage the truck bed uh, while you're cutting. You've got centimeter and uh, an, an inch uh, measuring. Just really useful kind of smart surface here. Press this button, I've demonstrated this before, but, and you have a handle here, but, nice step and handle just to step right into the truck so a nice safe way to get in and out of the truck um, you do have LED lighting back here um, and you have these clamps in different places to tie things down uh, to the to the bed LED lights and you've got a plug here so you've got power back here to plug that circular saw that you're cutting the 2x4 that I just mentioned with so Really cool, um, easy enough to put down. I can do it almost with one hand. Push it in, and you're done. So you have more LED lighting here in the back. And just thought I'd show one thing back here. So again, ton of floor space, but you can raise these seats, and you've got this really nice box here it's collapsible as you can see but if you lock it in um, you got a ton of useful storage under here that you can use to store your your tie downs or whatever you need and when you lay your lower your seat it's there for you so really really nice useful space uh, behind the driver and passenger seat as well so the gentleman that I sold the truck to on Friday, the Area 51 I mentioned, uh, he had so much stuff in his old truck and most of it fit right here under the seats so he can keep his cabin nice and clean on his new truck. So that's pretty much everything guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for more uh, from Car Talk with Zach as the weather gets a little warmer. I do have some cars in queue uh, that I want to get out but they're not really uh, cold, damp, boring, awful weather, Kansas weather cars. Uh, one's a Mercedes SL65 AMG, which is a phenomenal car. It's owned by a neighbor of mine, and I really can't wait to get it out. And I also have a, a buddy who's got a Porsche 911 GT3 uh, that I want to get out, but he's very particular about it. Nick, I'm, I'm hollering at you, and uh, we're just waiting on for uh, good weather. So stay tuned for more, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for be, being part of Car Talk with Zach. Um, I'm humbled by it every day.